nice dinner tonight. Uh, I think some sort of a Mediterranean chicken dinner. So with that, I wanted to have some nice fresh bread to go with it. So I thought, what would be nice? Maybe some uh, whole wheat dinner rolls. And I said, well, you know what? I've got these really cool small loaf pans. And I'm like, what if I made everybody mini, their own mini loaf? So we're going to make a honey whole wheat mini loaf for everybody so that they can enjoy it with their dinner tonight. The ingredients for this particular whole wheat bread recipe include one cup of water, one quarter cup of milk, three tablespoons of honey, two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry or instant yeast, that's one packet, three cups of whole wheat flour plus any that might be needed in addition, uh, one and one half teaspoon of salt and three tablespoons of unsalted butter cut into six pieces and softened. Okay. Well, the first step in this is we combine the milk and the water, uh, uh, heat it up a little bit to about 100, 105 degrees. Uh, then we add in the honey, the salt, and the yeast. So let's go ahead and uh, mix that all up. So let's go ahead and uh, use our corningware bowl and we'll add our quarter cup of milk. And one cup of water. And we're going to pop this in the microwave for about, I don't know, 15 seconds. And then we'll take the temperature of it. A little more. Alright, so we have the temperature of this just right at 100 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and add in the honey and the yeast and we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes to activate the yeast. Now I'm going to go ahead and whisk in the honey before we add the yeast. Okay, I'm going to add in the yeast. I've had really good success with this platinum yeast. So we're going to go ahead and use one package of that. And we'll whisk it in. Okay, and we're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. Alright, so that yeast has reacted very strongly as you can see. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So, um, we're going to pour the milk, water, honey, yeast into the mixer. Uh, then we're going to add the flour, salt, and butter to the bowl. Now I spent the break uh, pre-measuring the flour and everything, so we're ready to go on that. Let's just go ahead and get it mixed and get started. Alright, first thing, the milk. Ooh, it's nice and warm and foamy. Oh my goodness. That is really, really active. Okay. So, and it smells. The yeast is amazing. Okay. All right, so here we have this. Let's go ahead and add the salt, which is one and a half teaspoons. So we'll add the butter next, three tablespoons, cut into sixes. All right, and let's add in the flour. Now, I don't want to add in all the flour uh, I want to add in uh, most of it, and then we'll stir it with a wooden spoon to combine. Uh, but then I want to see what happens when I start to knead it, and uh, you know how it turns out. Because I, I don't want to get too much flour in it. Because you can't take flour out, you can always add more flour. So let's add in most of the flour and then mix it with a wooden spoon. So that looks pretty, uh, pretty firm as is. I don't want to want to add any more flour right now. But what I do want to do is get the mixer out, and we'll start mixing slowly until this forms into a dough ball. Then I'll be able to have a better idea of what I think this is going to look like. So uh, let's go ahead and start mixing. Go 
going to mix it for a little bit without the lid. Uh, when I go to knead, I'll put the lid on. Now that it's starting to mix, I am seeing that it does need the rest of the flour, so we're going to go ahead and add that slowly. Okay, I like that. I like where that's at right now. Okay, I feel like that's well mixed. Uh, the next step is to knead the dough for eight minutes on a low setting, so we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. We're gonna let this knead for about eight minutes. All right, eight minutes. All right, it's been kneading for about eight minutes. It looks pretty sticky. I did end up adding all of the flour into it. Well, so now we're going to turn this out onto a lightly floured surface, form it into a ball. Then we're going to put it into a bowl that's got some oil in it and flip it over and get it nicely oiled. And then we're going to cover it in plastic wrap and let it rise for an hour. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and get there. All right, we're just going to work it into a ball. Okay, let's put it in the oiled bowl. Over, get it nice and oily. Just gonna cover it up, let it rise for an hour. Guess we'll see you back here then. All right, it's been an hour. Check this out. It looks pretty well risen. Let's go ahead and punch this down. Uh, we'll put this out on up to a fl the flour counter, uh, and then we're going to cut it up in thirds and put it in our little mini loaves and we'll let it rise again for another half hour. I'm going to squeeze a little bit to get any of the extra air out. A little slight need. Now I'm going to spray my um, mini loaves with some cooking spray. I'm going to cut the loaf in thirds, form a little loaf out of it, put it in the pan, and we'll let it rise again. All right, we'll see you back here in a half hour. These will be ready to put in the oven then. In the meanwhile, I'll be preheating the oven to 350 degrees. And while the instructions give us some very specific bake times, because these are smaller loaves uh, in individual pans, I'm gonna have to be a little more careful um, as these cook. I'm gonna cook them a little less than the time they give me, and then I'll check them more frequently after that. But let's go ahead and finish the rise, 30 minutes. We'll see you back then. All right, the bread's been rising for 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. Now there's various times on the directions based on whatever type of uh, pan you may be cooking it in. They say if it's glass, it's 30 to 35. If it's metal, it's 40 to 45. We have three smaller pans. I'm gonna start looking at this at about 30 minutes and then every five minutes after that. I don't wanna undercook it, I don't wanna overcook it. But because we're using 
well, we've broken the loaf up and are using different pans, it's gonna be different. So let's let it cook for 30 minutes. While that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start the rest of the dinner and you'll see all of it here in just a little bit. So one of the ways you can tell bread is done is by tanking its temperature. I just took the temperature of one of the loaves because it was looking done, but I wasn't sure. The inner temperature is at 195. That says it's done. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out and I'm going to butter the tops and these will be ready to serve. We're going to let them sit for 20 minutes as per the instructions before we take them from the pans though. But uh, here we go with taking them out and buttering the tops. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get dinner served on the table. We'll get back with you in just a minute and let you know how delicious this is. It looks amazing. All right, see you in a couple. Victoria says she wants hers cut, so we're gonna cut, cut one of these loaves here. We'll see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, let's go eat it. I can't stand it any longer. Okay, come along. All right, we're at the table. Here's the dinner offering tonight. This is Mediterranean chicken. It is uh, basically chicken fried in olive oil with uh, sun-dried tomatoes, capers, and artichokes. And we have our bread. Victoria's ready to try hers. She is dying to try hers. I'm gonna even cut into it so everyone can appreciate the Have some, some of the softened butter ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be time lapsing that. Okay. A little bit of the crust. Mm. Mm. Good. Look mm -hmm. who joined us. Miss Between. She's curious. Delicious. Yeah? Delicious. What'd you put on the top? Just butter? Butter. Mm -hmm. mm. Yum, 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 yum. All right, let me cut off a piece, put a little butter on it, and give it a try. I'm dying. Let's try this. I'm just gonna rip a hunk. There's no uh, formalities here. Rip me off a chunk. Slap me some butter on there. All right, let's give it a try. First thing you get is that yeast smell, which is always amazing. It's a really great texture, really nice and firm. Mm -hmm. And after you chew a little bit, you get just a little hint of honey, which is perfect. I have to say, it's not like Freshly baked bread can never be bad, but this is pretty damn good. I'll put the recipe below. You, sh you should try it. Uh, it's easy and it's amazing. All right, there you go. We're going to go enjoy dinner. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye now.